हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू क्लीन कोडर यूट्यूब चैनल सो इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल टिल नाउ आई वुड हाईली रिकमेंड यू टू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व लीड कोड प्रॉब्लम नंबर 142 लिंक लिस्ट साइकिल पार्ट टू सो देर इज ऑल्सो लीड कोड प्रॉब्लम लिंक लिस्ट साइकिल वन uh that i would uh, recommend you to please uh, solve that problem before solving this problem uh, i'll uh, attach the link to that tutorial somewhere here okay so let's move to the lead code website to check the problem statement for this problem so it tells uh, given a link list return the node where the cycle begins okay so if there is no cycle return null so there is a cycle in a linked list if there is some node in the list that can be reached again by continuously following the next pointer initially position is used to denote the index of the nodes that tails next pointer is connected to note that position is not passed as a parameter notice that you should not modify the linked list okay so it is not guaranteed that uh, the cycle would definitely exist in the linked list so if there is a cycle we should return the starting point of the cycle right so this is the linked list in the example one so 3 2 2 is the starting point of linked list why because on entering 2 we are continuously moving in circle like 2 0 negative 4 and then again 2 0 negative 4 so on and so forth and we are supposed to return this uh, entry point of the circle right 2 so a reference to this node is expected in the return statement uh, this position is not used much uh, like in the internal code uh, which where lead code verifies your solution they are using it internally i don't know why like they have put so much emphasis on this pos parameter frankly speaking it's not uh, much required in the problem statement so this is the example 2 so here uh, the entry point is the first node itself one so we need to return reference to this so in example 3 there is no cycle in the list so we are outputting no cycle right so let's check the constraints now the number of nodes in the list range from 0 to 10 to the power 4 both included and nodes value could be between uh, negative 10 to the power 5 to positive 10 to the power 5 fine and position is a valid index in the list okay there is also follow up can you solve it in o of 1 that is in constant memory yes we would be solving this problem in constant memory only so let's move to our whiteboard now so uh, this is something which they have given input like this would be the head to the given link list and there would be some cycle which may or may not be present and we are supposed to return this node right this node so uh, in the part 1 uh, we have already uh, solved the problem in which we were supposed to return uh, the uh return whether uh, the cycle exists in the list or not like we were returning true if cycle exists and false if there is no link list uh, no cycle in the list so uh, if this list was passed in that question we would be returning true because the uh, the cycle exists in this uh, link list so that is pretty much the prerequisite for solving this problem and i expect that uh, you have come to the part 2 after solving part 1 so if you have solved uh, part 1 let's move forward and uh, check out the algorithm for solving this problem okay so the algorithm is uh, quite straightforward step 1 is check whether cycle is present in the link list or not this coming from part 1 okay so uh, once you have checked like if cycle is not present you directly return null okay this is this part is sorted like if there is no cycle from this part you directly you directly return null now if uh, the cycle exist you come to step 3 right let's check out what uh, step 3 says if cycle is present start the slow pointer from the start okay so and move more the slow and fast pointer at one node at a time okay so what it is telling is like uh, once the cycle is detected like slow pointer would become equivalent to fast pointer right 
don't worry at this moment what you suppose what you are supposed to do is you need to move the slow pointer to the head of the list right you move slow pointer to the head of the list okay and start moving the slow pointer and fast pointer both at the speed of one node at a time right you move both the nodes both the pointers one node at a time and uh, the point okay the point where these two pointers meet okay the point where these two pointers meet is the starting point of the loop right it would be the starting point of the loop so this is the algorithm uh, which we are going to follow to detect the starting point of the loop in a link list which contains cycle right so if you have understood this algorithm uh, very well and good but if you haven't uh, got a hang of it don't worry i'll be uh, showing you the code walkthrough and i'll be explaining the dry run of that algorithm in great detail so let's uh, move to the next slide so this is the code uh, i used to solve this problem on lead code platform so this is the detect cycle function we are expected to return the reference to the uh, starting point of the loop and we are given the head of the list so if head is null uh, return null this is fine if head dot next is null return null right so there is no cycle in these cases so we are returning null so if head dot next is head right there is a list like this okay so this is a circular list and this is only the entry point of the list so this i have added as a base condition so i am directly returning the starting point of the loop which is head so if you have uh, entered like if you have not been returned by these base conditions you will enter here okay then i am starting slow pointer and fast pointer with head okay let's simulate the rest of the code on this test case okay on this big test case right so we are given a list and this is the list and two is the starting point of the loop which would be finding with this algorithm okay so uh, let's uh, start and let's enter in this while loop now so while uh, fast is not null and fast dot next is not null uh, we are supposed to increment slow uh, at speed equal to one speed equal to one and we are supposed to increment fast at speed equal to two okay so uh, slow would move one step fast would move two steps and we'll be coming out once slow and fast overlap so let's execute this on uh, this link list okay so my fast pointer would uh, go here okay and my slow pointer would come here in the first step okay this is slow this is fast okay now the second step my uh, I, i'll be moving in the iteration in the next step so my slow pointer would come here and at the same time my fast pointer would have moved here okay fast pointer is here again slow is not equal to fast i'll uh, move to the next iteration of the while loop so my slow pointer would come here and meanwhile my fast pointer would have moved at seven right so again we'll enter the next iteration of while loop so my slow pointer would reach here and meanwhile my fast pointer would have moved two steps forward so starting from this node uh, one step two step okay fast pointer would have reached here so again my slow pointer uh, would move one step forward slow pointer would be here and fast pointer would move two steps forward okay so from three two step forward one two so fast pointer would reach here now is the best part okay so my slow pointer would reach here and my fast pointer would trace the slow pointer and both at this moment of time both slow and fast are uh, overlapping so this uh, base condition would execute and will come out of the while loop okay so this arrow i have already marked so as to confirm that yes we have uh, correctly 
executed this while loop so yes this is the point where slow and fast are supposed to overlap so yes this is also confirmed so if there is a loop uh, if slow is equal to fast uh, we'll enter this if block okay so what we are supposed to do is uh, we'll move the slow to the head of the list okay so i'll just erase the slow here and i'll move slow to the head of the list so head of the list is pointing here okay so slow would point here and fast is pointing here okay so now i'll again uh, uh, move both of them like now this while loop would be executing now both of them are executing with speed of one so this is also speed of one this is also speed of one so slow and fast both are uh, moving forward in speed of one so my fast pointer would point here and my slow pointer would also point here okay so at this moment again both of them have overlapped okay so now slow is equal to fast so i'll come out of this while loop now at this moment you can either return slow or fast because this is the starting point of the loop of the linked list and we are returning that so yes yippee we have found the starting point of the loop in the linked list so now uh, naturally there would be some concerns or doubts in your mind like why we reset the slow pointer to head and how these two are meeting while moving with the speed of one at the head of the uh, list so clearly this this algorithm is a result of some mathematics right so some mathematics if you are good in mathematics you can actually prove that they'll meet at this point so uh, if you want me to cover the mathematical part also of this algorithm i'd be happy to cover that in a separate video but for this video i have only planned to uh, dry run this algorithm so yeah this algorithm works and uh, for interviews i'll highly recommend you to go through this uh, uh this questions also like uh, sometimes in interviews they can ask the mathematical proof like uh, for me only as i was giving amazon interview so they expected me to uh, write the mathematical equations and prove that how uh, resetting slow and fast like how slow pointer reset to head meets at the entry point of the loop so i'll recommend this to please 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 know the proof of this method also like uh, only knowing slow and fast pointer concepts is not going to help you in interviews so these days uh, proofs are also asked so the second thing uh, which they like to ask is they like to ask like what would happen if we change the speed of fast pointer from let's say two to four okay so uh, you need to have an understanding of what would happen and did the algorithm would algorithm perform better or worse in that case so these are questions i leave uh, on you you can write these uh, answers in comment section or uh, uh, you can post this like if you are struck you can uh, ask your doubts in uh, comment section so let's also discuss the time and space complexity for the solution we propose so time complexity is pretty straightforward it's o of n only and regarding space complexity space complexity is o of one because we are not using any uh, extra collection or auxiliary space so this was all i wanted to talk about uh, this uh, very very uh, hot problem i would say so if you liked my code walkthrough and if you liked my tutorial please please guys do subscribe to a uh, clean coder and you can also join our instagram community at uh, clean coder community and uh, my current subscriber count is around uh, 45 okay i'll uh, highly request you to please subscribe my channel and take it to like at least 4000 so that uh, this motivates me to uh, make more and more of like code walkthrough